Hey guys, at another cemetery, very old cemetery. Um, this is called Katie Moyer Cemetery, Sharps Chapel. And look at that little grave house right there. Um, you can see most of all what I'm looking at right now is just um, rock headstones. Um, I think what I'm seeing on up in the distance is Steiners. So, as far as I know, this is like some of the first settlers in this area that come down the river and is buried here. So, let's get going. See who we got here. First of all, we got Margaret Ratcher, 1846 to 1903. And this one, let's see if there's somebody on the other side here. Yes. It is WHW, maybe? Company C, 4th Tennessee Infantry. I think that's BBA. Is that battalion? No. Batcher? Is that his last name? Looks like it. Maybe Batcher? Company C. Company C. Yeah. yeah. Cool little place here. They've kept it. They cleaned it off, though. Look at that. All right, well, here is a, oh, it's a little lamb. And we got Catherine Graves, 1891 to 1902. And here's a fine example, a little grave house. That's cool, look at that. That is really cool. Okay, what else we got over here? Um, hmm, Elizabeth Weaver, born in 1832 and died in, uh, 1900. What's that? Yeah, I know it. Well, I'm going to get what I can. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to get over there to it. All right. This one is Catherine Moyers, 1812 to 1990. No, 1900. This is 1990. Is that 1900? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> 1812 to 1900. Sorry. Of course, there's some rock markers. Lots of rock markers. So, I would say it. Donnie's right. Areas of a lot of uh, early settlers here. Look how this tree has grown up in this old root. Old tree. That's cool. All right. It's a Williams, 1800 to 1873. It's a homemade, homemade grave here. Yeah, that's... That's a pretty cool, look at that. <laughs> Still lots and lots of rock markers. You can see all the periwinkle over there. Yep, all the periwinkle over there t tells you that it's an old cemetery. There's Donnie. Uh, that's a J.H. Steiner. 1874 to 1895. So far, he has a nice stone in here. And Ruth Steiner, 1844 to 1889. Nobody on that other side, but there's the periwinkle. Which tells me that this cemetery is probably bigger. Because look here. Look, you see these little markers back in these weeds. So, it's probably full. I'd say it's full. There's there's uh, rock headstones back in the weeds here too. Look at all that. It probably goes all the way back there. 
in those weeds? Don't know. Oh, you can get this one. This is Willa W. Eli Steiner, 1883 to 1906. That just rolls, rolls of uh, rock markers. Rolls and rolls. Not much I can say about it. I have to do more research on it. Like I never got up here in my car, but we made it. See, all of those, all of those are just rock headstones there. Here we have a Henry Brayton, 1800 to 1892. Man, he was 92 years old. Here's a rock marker. All of these rock markers. Let me go over here before I go over there. I can read a, this one. This is a Russell. It's 18-something to 1866. S-A, W-S-A, Russell, possibly. I know a lot of Russells that settled the, around the river. This is another Russell. J and S-A, Russell. 1869 to 1878. Here. I mean, they're just laying. They've got these little headstones laying everywhere. I guess whoever cleaned it up. Right. Clarence Beeler, 1908 to 1909. Can you see that? There's one right there. See my finger right there. Uh, oh yeah, I'm sure it's bigger than what they cleaned up. Looks like the road goes on over around through there. Oh, get back down here. Then we'll go up. Here's the whole made one. P. Graves, age 85, died April 1890, maybe four, maybe six. I think it's 1896. And, which one? Yeah, I know it. They've just got them out of the, the, the river. You know, before the lake came in, there was just a river rock, but they did the best they could. First settler, here we go. Henry and Sarah. Henry was 1796 to 1872, and Sarah was 1798 to 1896. So they're Steiners, first settlers. That's cool. And we got another Steiner here. Mm. Elakim Steiner, 1820, and died about 1896. Elizabeth Russell Steiner, 1835 to 1830 or 1888. And then the rest of them, rock markers rock markers. I'm glad somebody's preserving the history of this place and actually taking some uh, consideration. Here we have memory of Lorana Weaver 1785 to 1855 and memory of another weaver. Can't make the first name out. 1862 to I 
I can't make that one out. These are small, small, small. Another Weaver, 1870. Six, maybe, no, 1870. And I can't make that one out either. The rest of it. We got one right here. In memory of David Weaver, he's born in 1866 and died in 1881. Sorry if I'm snotting and breathing heavy, but I'm kind of cold. See all the pretty little flowers. Somebody's put some newer markers up here. Loomis, infant son of Lafayette and Hester Steiner. And then Dolly May, infant daughter of G.S. and Oma Steiner. If these, I can read these right here. Maybe. Let's see. Memory of James H. I can't read. 1877 to 1880. And in memory of Catherine Guy, 1820 to 1857 or 37. This one is, this is another Steiner. Farrell Steiner, 1880 to 1891. Willie Steiner, 1882 to 1891. Okay, they died two days apart. And Sarah. And she died in the same year, same Sarah Steiner, 1860-1891. So that's all three of them died in September of 1891. The road goes all the way back up here. So you can see, I'll let you see all of that. But that's it. Katie Moyer Cemetery, also, I would say Steiner. Maybe people call it Steiners. You see all the graves there, all the markings. I don't know. But thanks for watching, and I hope to get back to you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.